is your first alert five weather with Alan Rose. And welcome back everyone. We're glad you're joining us. It was an absolutely beautiful day with unseasonable warmth here in Southern Colorado. And if you like today's weather, well, don't fret. It's going to continue for at least the next couple of days. Of course, the downside of the warm, dry, windy conditions is the high fire danger threat. So red flags back in the forecast on Tuesday, but to a limited degree, I'll show you that in just a second. And then late this week, we flipped the script, bringing a case of weather whiplash with several chances for rain and snow. So today, red flag warning still in effect until 8 o'clock, and it does cover most of southern Colorado. Tomorrow, reduced in coverage. We'll see these warnings in effect across Fremont County, also down towards Walsenburg and Trinidad, and out west towards the San Luis Valley. Uh, wind is going to be gusty, but minimally gusty. I'd say top gusts tomorrow around 30 miles per hour in these areas, but it's the relative humidity values that the bigger concern. They'll be back down under 10% during the afternoon. Look at the warm temperatures out there. Still 5 o'clock and still in the 80s. La Junta to Lamar, Springfield at 82. Really warm in Pueblo at 78. Trinidad at 74. The Springs checking in at 72 and Monument right now at 68 degrees. And you compare temperatures now to this time yesterday. Everyone's running a couple of degrees warmer. And I think tomorrow we're going to do this all over again as the upper air mass, the levels here down to the surface and high up don't really change all that much synoptically speaking. As we look at the wind map, seeing some light winds, most areas out of the southwest, but a little bit gusty down towards southern parts of the state. So here's the area of low pressure, which is going to shake up the weather pattern late this week, but this system is not going to move much for the next 24 to 48 hours. So through tomorrow, sort of meandering off the coast of California until it ejects east on Wednesday, our dry weather pattern won't really be allowed to change up all that much. So tomorrow morning, we'll call it seasonably mild early. Temperatures warm up quickly with those downslope winds and plenty of sunshine. And you can see through the afternoon hours, looking at highs back into the 70s and 80s across the lower elevations. Mountains, you're going to be pleasant with highs tomorrow into the upper 50s and 60s. Here's your day planner on Tuesday, and the springs will be in the upper 60s at noon. Mid 70s, the daytime high I'm forecasting. Pueblo back up to 80 after a low of 37. Let's get you out into the extended. We do have some unsettled changes moving in. I think most of Wednesday's dry, but heading into Wednesday night, we start to get some scattered showers. Now, the longer range models struggling with this low, that's typically the case until these weather systems move on shore. I think once it does, Wednesday we will have a better idea, but this right here shows you some scattered to isolated rain and snow showers heading into your Thursday afternoon. So lows tonight again seasonably mild upper 30s for Monument and Pueblo 34 Woodland Park 41 in the Springs and tomorrow's highs. I'm even going up another couple of degrees from what we saw today. We'll be at 74 in the Springs 68 on Wednesday as we start to cool. Here comes the big changes 45 on Thursday. Dry, fry, Friday now looks dry, but we bring in more changes coming into Saturday. Some thunderstorms possible and maybe a stronger storm end of next weekend. For Pueblo, will be at 80, then down to 75, but 50s on the way Thursday as the rain moves in here. Canyon City, upper 70s, giving way to low 70s. 50 degrees the high on Thursday, dry and a little warmer Friday, and some bigger changes by the end of the weekend. Woodland Park will be at 60 degrees on Tuesday, dropping down to the 40s with a rain-snow mix Thursday, and more snow potentially for the upcoming weekend.